underway here. Here at the foot of the mountain at Penrith Football Stadium. Penrith are going to run to the northern end of the ground. And that's a big shot to start this game off. And some man playing to 150 -ish. Big Josh King putting on there. James Fisher Harris is back. They want to start well like they did last week. Grant at the back of the scrub. They're going to Papert Hurzen. Out wide they go. Now they'll go up to the bunker. I'm sure of this one. Anderson's got the ball over the line. So it's four points to nil here. To the visitors here. A bit of a shock here at Penrith. But I'm sure we'll go upstairs for this one. There were some players being knocked over the way there. In the centres. Now Grant goes to the, to the left hand side. This is last play now. Now they go to Hughes. Puts up the bomb. Chasing through here is William Warbrick. Taps it back. He's, he's Elijah Katara. He knows his way of the line. And I think he's got another one. This is going to be a try. Try time. Try time to Melbourne again. That's come from a bomb. Great pressure there. Been great contest from William Moore. Brings me nine metres out from the line. To oh. Luai. Cleary. Yo. Beautiful ball to Lindsay Smith. Oh, it was. The gap was opened up as big as the Sydney heads. And the home side are in to score. 10 points to 4 with a kick from Cleary coming up. Well, that was just too easy. Luai combined with Cleary again. That's where they're most dangerous, this Penrith. Makes a good run down that left flank. 15 metres out from the line. Last tackle. Long ball to Luai. He puts a kick in. It might be a bit too deep. Oh, someone might have grabbed him in here. Tungo. Try. Well, he came from absolutely nowhere, Isaac Tungo, to get that down. Well, that, that ball like it was going to go dead. Three metres out. Last tackle now here, says Ashley Clyde. Martin put, puts the kick up this time. He's fighting Warbrick. Oh, hang on a minute. Now, Katoa might have scored his second try. It's going to be pointed to the spot. So it's 14 points to 10. Melbourne hit the lead back. Well, this time it wasn't huge. It was, it was, he's been involved with shooting for penalty goal. As I said, in 96, it, ha it happened to Ivan. And in 2024, it's down to Athens. Well, that is a coincidence. Anyway, the halftime score is 16 points to 12 in favour of the Melbourne Storm. With a controversial penalty goal at the last tackle and a side to run. Luai, Guy gets it now on. McLean puts a kick and Edwards on the inside. He'll score. And Pedro scores first and will get it back to 16 all. Well, well, you can say that all started there by a strong run by Oseo. He set that up. Edwards was involved earlier, but it was Isaiah's run clash between Cameron Munster and there's a play. I don't know who the Penrith player was, but Cameron Munster has not moved. Oh, he's got blood streaming from the nose. Oh, that was ugly. I don't know who the Penrith player was, but he didn't get up quickly either. Who was it? It was a Penrith. It was a clash of heads. Oh, Dave Laurie was caught in a in a Melbourne sandwich there, a Suffer Soul Miner, and I thought there's one angle that's not going to help our Suffer Soul Miner. It's that back angle. Yeah, it's, he's going to put him in the sin bin. Yeah, so they've looked at one angle. And so Suffer Soul Miner will be put in the sin bin. He can't believe it. It's a tackle, but Ashley Clark's not going to blow it. Howarth. Well, he gets no, he gets no, um, no Oscar nomination there. Does um, Grant Anderson wish up for the line? He'll score. Blistering pace there by Tyron Wisher. I just mentioned before he's so reliable, and he can score some tries, and that's what he's done since he's come on. One seventy-eight points. He's 
He's equal third. He, he can actually go to outright third now. So Meany is right in front. 20 metres out to put Melbourne back in front to lead by two points. He does that. And we've and this game continues to amaze us here.